Ron, hurry up. We gotta get going. Hold, Hold on, on a second. second. Having a name would make us sound so much cooler. How about... What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulus, and I have a special guest. You know who it is? This is Ron Hunt, coming to you from internet land. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We're gonna unbox the SH Figure Arts Gogeta. This is the official release. As you can see, the Tamashi Nation's quality uh, seal of approval right there. We also have the toy animation sticker right there. Fun me. Basically, there's all kinds of stickers and logos right here to show, hey, this is not a bootleg, this is the real deal. This is awesome. You're gonna get an amazing figure. Or so we think. Ooh, Ooh yeah. So let's open them up and let's see what's going on. Let's just jump right into it. Now, I would say we could get this figure at where? I believe we can get this at dstartoys.com. That's right. You can go there to get SA Trigger Arts figures, but unfortunately, I was late to the action figure game and I could not get this guy in stock. Curses. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, man. But we're here today. We're going to unopen it and we're going to see, unbox it and we're going to see if it's worth your money. Ron, do the pleasures. Open up this figure. Let's see. Gladly what's going here. On here. I'm just going to play off what you said a little earlier. I'm going to unopen this. I'm not sure um, how we're going to do that one, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, take your little snips here. We're going to cut that tape right there on the side and unopen Gogeta yes, we are here. Unopening Gogeta here. All right. Let's pop Ooh, him on out of the wait, box. Get that on out of the Ooh, way. Let's look here. He looks fantastic. Oh, man. Looking good so far. Right, Looking let's get him good. Out the box. Let's get him out of the box. He's out of the box. We got to get him out of his plastic prison. Well, how much re How much is this guy retailed? Ooh, you know what? Retail right now because of scalpers, it's actually getting up much, much higher. If somehow, some way you can get your hands on him, I got him for 64. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. I believe the retail on him, like, from Bandai's suggested retail should be around 50, right? Yeah, it's around yeah, the 50s. So, yeah, this guy is getting up there. So if you can get your hands on him now for a decent price, I highly recommend you do. Or it might hit those dreaded hundreds of dollars. Ooh. Scalper prices. So There's that rule of three, folks. Yep, Keep that in mind when you're doing your collecting. Yeah, get three of them. <laughs> one for yourself, one to resell, and then one for saving for your kids. Yes, Aww. indeed. Aww. So let's look at this guy. Wow, wow. Wow, look at the shading on this guy. Let me just tell you right now, when it comes to SH Figure Arts, uh, especially when they started making the uh, new fighting body joints, I noticed that they were kind of lacking on the shading on the body. They were just kind of going for a plain white. And this one, it looks like we're going back to the early uh, 2010s and we're getting that awesome shading into the musculature here. What do you think, Ron? Well, I'm gonna snag Gogeta from you for just a moment there, so you have the opportunity to work that camera there so we can show some of that wonderful shading there on the wow, gi, on amazing. the vest, on the musculature. Like you were saying, we're going back to a time when that paint and detail were everything for these SH figure arts. And in the case of this wonderful, brand new, introduced Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, we want all of those details there. Wow. So, all right. So, let's look at the pants here. Look at that beautiful shading into there. You don't just get a flat I'm white. push that toe can, right down oh, real man, quick. You just, this, this figure looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I this mean, he's so proud of himself, he's going to faint out of excitement. <laughs> so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and shift that weight forward there just a little bit so he stands up better for the, the folks. There we go. Yes, no, maybe so. And he does not want to stand. He's going to stand. We're going to do that. All right. Yeah, there you go. We got him to stand. He looks absolutely amazing. I love the vest. Love the yellow on there. The pants look excellent. The blue looks very movie accurate. There's even like some matte finish here on the, uh, what is this? What is this called? The I don't know. Wrist guards, <laughs> wrist gauntlets, guards, gauntlets, gauntlets, cuff links, whatever you want to call them there. Call it. Everything looks fantastic on this guy. And when it comes to paint and detail, you really can't go wrong with this action figure. Easily one of the best looking SH figure as figures, in my opinion. Well, right now, as far as my collection goes, he's definitely right up there with Mr. Satan mm -hmm. because I, I enjoy Satan so much. But looking at him, his muted colors there, the matte finish on there works very, very well for him. We didn't get that with Gotenks. No, we didn't. Gotenks not. had a much more uh, satin finish, a sheen to it, whereas he's a uh, looking that that lovely matte finish so it's not taking away from the focal points there of that lovely uh, metallic blue hair color and look at this we do have a gotenks here to ah, show you what we mean here 
uh, while this is kind of that has that matte finish and that faded dark look and that looks really cool if you look here at the Gogeta no nah, uh, not Gogeta sorry uh, go tanks not so much you don't really have that matte finish it's kind of like they just painted it and they said let's call it a day Let's go sell these and make money off the fans. <laughs> I know a lot of people did not like Gotenks because, man, no Super Saiyan 3 here? Come on. Yeah, you can't Come have on. Gotenks without Super Saiyan 3 Come on, 3 you here. can't do that. Come on. It's just saying, hey, we're just going to make another figure and make more money off you. No way, Jose. But they said, hey, we're going to charge 50 bucks for this figure retail. And we're going to make him super, super premium. Super cool. And then that way everyone wants him. Yeah, so cool. Definitely worth it for just the paint and detail alone. Now that we're done with that... What are we moving on to next? We're going to go ahead and look at articulation and scale here. All right, so Ron so brought us some figures to look at to compare, but first let's measure him out. Let's see how tall he's standing. And whoops, we're upside down. We're right side up. I don't know. Boop. Wow, that's looking about six, six and, and a quarter. Six and a quarter, I have to say. Yeah, that's about right with the very top of the hair there. All right, so let's compare him with other action figures. This is uh, the fun part. Okay, so let's see who better to compare Gogeta with than... Vegito. Boop. That's right. This is the uh, event exclusive. I got this for Ron. I don't know, actually, no. No, I this, waited in yeah, line with waited, you. Yeah, we waited in line at the very last event. For Dragon Ball Dragon Tour Ball. in yeah, 2018, right, right before we had that opportunity to see the Broly movie. Yes. That review. Let's folks, not talk about that. Folks Let, weren't happy about that one, yeah, but moving they were, on. We're moving on. Let's go to a review people are going to enjoy. <laughs> yes, Gogeta here. Yes, Gogeta here. So when we look at Vegito and Gogeta, you can definitely see there's some differences in the the facial construction because it's a Potara fusion versus the Fusion Dance fusion. So you can definitely see differences in the faces there. And I have to say that Gogeta is looking way more jacked than Vegito. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally, and also we're looking at two different uh, articulation systems. We're looking at the fighting body, Correct. which was introduced uh, about two to three years ago, where this one still uses the older body and joint system uh, back in the day, about six, seven years ago, I believe. Right. So That event exclusive one was just a repaint. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, definitely it looks much better. I believe Gogeta is just oh, out of this world looking fan. Fantastic. So let's move on to other action figures. We're going to look at ones from different series right here. We have a Marvel Legends, uh, Captain America, if you want to mix and match Marvel and Dragon Ball Z or Super. Meh. Meh. And everyone's favorite versus. We got Superman from the Multiverse series. And that's supposed to be Kingdom Come Superman, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is Kingdom Come Superman. He doesn't have the Reed Richards hair, man. No, he does not. But that's a whole other tale. Yes. Yes, indeed. And we all know who would win in this fight. Not this guy. <clears throat> anyway. You don't like it? <laughs> no. Argue it in the comments. <laughs> and last but not least, we got build the figure Thanos. And he doesn't even fit in the camera. We're going to move this back just to show you if you want to put him with build a figure Thanos from Marvel Legends, you can do that as well. And so. that grimace on Thanos' face, just, I shouldn't exist, and I know these Dragon Ball guys would rip me in half. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so let's move on to Articulation Run. Take it away, please. All right. Take it away? You mean take Vegito away? Because yes, we're not here Vegito for Vegito away. right now. Right. We're here for Gogeta. Gogeta. So looking at our articulation here, we've got that classic SH Figure Arts toe joint there. We've got ourselves a lovely ball joint here at the ankle. Mm. Do we have any shin swivel? Nope, we sure don't. But we do have that fighting body double knee. Ooh, I love the double knee. That one's really So nice. that's wonderful there. And then, of course, the fighting body hip joint there for that. Whoa, look at that. Jean-Claude Van Damme Ooh, style. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Stretching right there. That look at that. Nice. All right, well, let's move him back into position there. We've got a single ball joint there at the sash. Got ourselves a little bit of ab crunch, actually. So not, not a oh, super duper ab crunch, huh? N Ugh. He seems to... Okay, there we go. Kind of kind of stiff, folks. Kinda but he stiff. is brand new out right. of the box there. Do we have that same problem with Boo? Like Boo? No. Nope, no, we, we don't. don't. We don't have an exposed joint there when he, when he goes for the ab crunch, which is really good. All right. Awesome, that, awesome. That's an excellent thing to see. Okay, now at the shoulder, we do have that problem with these silly little cuffs there. It just kind of hangs loose. Right. It doesn't look like it's part of the vest, unfortunately. But we do have that butterfly shoulder joint. Really nice. Okay. We do have our bicep swivel right there. We do have a 
Yeah, it looks like it should be a double joint yeah, at that, the that's elbow. A double joint. Yeah, that's a there double it is. Joint. Okay, just the way I folded it, chose not to double joint. Nothing at the wrist, but we do have the ball and peg combo. Ball and peg at the hand there. Moving back around here, let's go ahead and look at that neck. We've got that lovely little neck bit right there. Very nice, very nice. As well at the head. Yes, yeah, super articulated. You can do practically any pose from the movie. Practically? Yeah, practically anything from the movie, and that is fantastic. This guy is looking to be well, well, well above 20 points of articulation. Definitely worth adding to your collection for all your action poses and whatnot. I'm going to play around with him for just a bit and do some, ooh, look at that. we got a jump kick there. We can get a pose going on here. Man, so much, so much articulation. Really happy with this guy. Now, now that we're done with that, we're going, going to go to the last part of our video, which is accessories. All right, you Ron. You cannot have a good figure without accessories. accessories. Exactly. you got to have accessories because you're paying for a premium price. Therefore, you got to have premium accessories so first things first let's look at this head now this is the powered down head he is not in this form for very long in the movie i don't think I... he's there for a little bit when piccolo's introducing him but when we're looking at this powered down head here he's only in this state when piccolo introduces him right and after he successfully fuses yeah that's pretty much it but you know what i'm really happy we get it right I oh mean, i am happy it <laughs> looks accessories, great accessories the better so let's get this head on uh he his face does come off this is something that i've kind of just realized it's a little interesting so, so it does come off right but you only get one one powered down face that's it right we don't get anything else so I guess for the, the sake of putting it on, yeah, it is easier when you remove the face. But I was hoping maybe we can get another face, but, you know, I guess not, right? <laughs> you would think you would get another one, right? I guess. I guess so. So, easy peasy. Just take that off, and it should just pop right in. There it is. Super easy. And then we put this like so. Line those pegs up. Yep. Pop and that new face it. on. There you have it. That is the powered down head and face and you do get that side spark and that's it i was hoping for one more maybe some customizers out there will be making some more for a him. yelling face yeah something. a yelling face or something i know he hardly does uh anything in this form in the movie but it would be cool to have a little bit more just to add to the package and that is him right there let's zoom out and let's see how he looks that is him powered down right there i definitely like that colored hair because it goes very well with the matte finish of the vest yeah, and the gauntlet seriously, set. Yeah, it looks really looks cool. Looks really good. Really, really cool. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take this head off and we're going to look at the other faces. Also, just another thing, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. Ron, I hope I'm not complaining. I wish he came with some sort of effect piece. An effect piece would be great. Yeah. But if you're already this far into the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball game, yeah, you probably you've got an effect yeah. piece of your own. Yeah, you probably do. But for all the new SH Figure Arts fans out there, oh, you got to start somewhere. I, maybe, I don't know, you need an effect piece. If you're looking for yeah. effect pieces, Gogeta's not where to start. Yeah, and this is not where to start when it comes to effect pieces. No Kamehameha, Kamehameha Beam or... Big Bang Attack or nothing like that. But let's look at this other face. This is the other smirking face. This one looks really, really cool. They did a really good yeah, job of really matching good. that uh, that hair paint there. Because yep. sometimes you're going to get something that's a little off, but all the way around. Yep. Excellent work. Also, this is something else that I've kind of noticed. We do have like this glittery, shimmery, bluish feel look here. And let's look here at Vegito. Vegito is missing it. Vegito is more yeah, of a it, teal. Yeah, it's more of a teal. Uh, less glittery feel look, I think, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it looks more like just a flat teal. Well, this one, if you look real close at it, let's look, try, you see that? Look at that. You kind of have, like, they mix some sort of glitter in there to give it more of that shimmering Gogeta look and feel. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, let's look at the last face, and then we're going to show you what hands you get, and then we're going to pose them at the end of the video, and we do get a yelling face for when he's kicking Brawley's butt. Oh shoot, spoiler alert, sorry. If you guys haven't watched this yet, watched the movie yet. If you haven't watched it by now, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and there you have it, that's him yelling, kicking butt right there. You can't have a Dragon Ball figure without a yelling face. No, you cannot, you cannot. All right, and that is pretty much it. And let's look at the hands right here. You do get an assortment of hands. Uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, Ron? so what we're looking at there, starting at the bottom, you're gonna have your 
final Kamehameha hands uh, for that attack there. Then you've got your regular Kamehameha hands up in the middle. And then at the top, it's kind of their classic fighting pose mm -hmm. yes. style. Yes, indeed. And we're going to show those all off at the end of the video. So let's come up with the conclusion of this guy. Here is my take on this one. Uh, I kind of have to always start with negatives, I guess. And I honestly can't find anything wrong with him, except for the fact that he doesn't come with any effect pieces. But then again, if you were to get, buy this guy uh, at retail price of about 50 bucks, then what can you really expect? Like when you're looking at something like Perfect Cell, you're, uh, when he came out, he was around 60 to 70 and he came with effect pieces and whatnot. Obviously that's more of a cost. And if you can't really afford that, uh, 20 bucks more or 30 bucks more or whatever, um, then something like this seems right because it doesn't come with accessories. You know what I mean? Like, cause you're not paying more than $50. I guess that means no um, effect piece, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. It looks fantastic. Look at the shading. It's per. This is a perfect Gogeta. You're rambling, Dexter. Let's keep this moving, all right, man? <laughs> right. <laughs> keep this moving. For that price point, this Gogeta is absolutely amazing. From the shading on the, the pants, to the vest, to the hair, to the detailed work on the faces, just the little lines at the ends of the eyebrows that you get on these anime Ooh, characters. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Cut in there for me. Oh, yeah. All right? SH Figure Arts, once again, gives you a wonderful piece for a reasonable price. Right. Now, I know these are more premium figures, and you're like, oh, $60 is a lot for a figure. Sorry, you want Gogeta, this is the price you're paying. Yeah. And if you didn't catch exactly. him at the beginning, scalper prices are coming, folks. Grab uh, him while you can. Yeah. Wonderful piece. The articulation is great. With that fighting body, you can put him however you need to put him. Okay. The accessories that you have with it, you can do whatever kind of posing, Change the hands up, have them holding whatever you want. If you've got one of them Logan cigars, if you think Gogeta's a smoker, <laughs> you can plug in a cigar. Kids don't smoke. It's bad. Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely worth the price. Um, yeah, I just say, if you guys can get them for a good price, you need to go for it now, now, now. Before now. it's too late. Before Can't say that one enough. it's too late. We're still rambling. Oh, man. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I guess the question of the day is... If you were to combine Ron and I's name, what, what would it be? Would, what would it be? Yes, what would it be? Indeed. Let us know down in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And now, for the best action figures, you can go to www. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ron, take it away. I missed my cue. You're going to go to www.dstartoys.com. That's right. You're right. Awesome action figures. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ha, 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 ha. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.